Minus 1,000, 6,000, 36 grand, what'll it be? I'll go for the six. Six it is, Chaser. Yes, I kind of thought you would. This is a sort of very steady, sensible, <laughs> rather disconcerting team. Are we ready? Josephine for six grand, the chase is on. <laughs> Good luck, here comes your first question. Who said there is nothing to writing? All you do is sit down at a typewriter and bleed. A, Edith Wharton. B, F, Scott Fitzgerald. C, Ernest Hemingway. You've put F. Scott Fitzgerald. I haven't got a clue. It could have been Hemingway. Could have been any of them. Correct answer is... Yeah, Hemingway. Staying where you are, Chase has put... Goes wrong with Fitzgerald. Interesting. Yeah, it sort of seemed to me more like Scott Fitzgerald because he had so many issues. Wrote an essay called The Crack Up about cracking up. So I, I could absolutely imagine him, you know, sitting down at the typewriter and kind of bleeding all his problems onto the page. Here's the next question. Since 2013, the United Nations has celebrated the 20th of March as the International Day of what? A, laughter, B, happiness, C, hilarity. You've put happiness. Again, I mean, happiness sounds about right. Hilarity is maybe a bit far. Correct answer is... Step close to home, all done. Chase has put happiness it is. Goes right with happiness. Around me, every day is International Day of Happiness. <laughs> Here's your next question. Which of these lead actresses in Sex and the City was born furthest from New York City? A, Kim Cattrall. B, Cynthia Nixon. C, Sarah Jessica Parker. You've put Kim Cattrall. I, I think she's from Liverpool. Correct answer is... Step close to home, well played. Cattrall it is. Chase has put... Also goes with Kim Cattrall. She's from Liverpool. Here's the next question. In cricket, what name is given to the dismissal of a batsman who has yet to face a ball? A, Diamond Duck, B, Golden Duck, C, Sitting Duck. You've put... Sitting Duck. Cricket is not my thing. Correct answer is... Diamond Duck. Staying where you are, Chase has put... Goes wrong with Golden Duck, which is out first ball. Right, OK. Here's the next question. Which of these Christian festivals is a movable feast? A, Christmas, B, Easter, C, Epiphany. You've put... Easter. Yeah, it moves. Correct answer is... Step close to home, Easter it is. Chase has put... Goes right, Easter, no problem. Here's the next question. The name of what Italian wine is also a musical instruction to play softly? A, Frascati, B, Masala, or C, Suave. You've put... Suave. Sounds slow yeah. and mellow and... Correct answer is... It is Suave, well played. Step close to home, Chase has put. Go to Suave also. Suave. Suave. Here's the next question. <sighs> Who attended Porth Call Comprehensive School with actress Ruth Jones? A. Ruth Iffens. B. Michael Sheen. C. Rob Brydon. You've put... Reese Siffins. Well, now, I think, I might be wrong, but I think Michael Sheen and Rob Brydon are both from Port Talbot, but... which is not Porth Court, but I might be wrong. Correct answer is to go through with six grand. It is Rob Brydon. Staying where you are, Chase has put... Goes right with Rob Brydon. I thought Rob Brydon because they both have uh, Gavin and Stacey connections. Absolutely. Uh, we're two ahead, though. We're one from home. We're doing all right. Two chances of getting through. And here's your first. Here's your question. Good luck. In what decade did the British Legion organise the first poppy appeal? A, 1920s. B, 1940s. C, 1960s. You've put... 1920s. I think it was after the First World War. Yeah. I think you're right. To go through with six grand, and you could have had a go at 36, the correct answer is... Well played. <laughs>